New businessman Rick Caruso also casting his ballot today after spending the morning with his family shaking hands outside the Boyle Heights Senior Center. The race for the 43rd mayor of Los Angeles is expected to come down to the wire as we have been reporting and with the polls open until 8, it may be a long night for both candidates. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade live at Rick Caruso's election night headquarters at The Grove. Mary Beth. Oh, and Michael, we are gearing up for a very long night here at the Grove. We're up on the top floor of a parking structure, the eighth floor. And thank goodness for this big tent above us here to keep us warm and dry, or at least we hope throughout the night. Now you can see behind me here, they're setting up. They got the day set up, the flags. They got those uh, big screens. This is where Rick Russo and his friends and family and supporters are expected to come and watch the election results come in. Now, earlier today, the businessman and builder cast his vote in Boyle Heights. You may recall Boyle Heights is where his grandparents, who immigrated from Italy, settled when they first came to this country. Caruso says he supports DACA and providing a pathway for immigrants to become citizens like both sets of his grandparents did. Now, if elected day one, he plans to call a state of emergency when it comes to the homeless crisis. He plans to build 30,000 beds in his first 300 days in office, as well as more affordable housing. He also says he'll provide them with services for mental health, addiction and retraining. As for the spike in crime in L.A., he plans to tackle it by hiring more officers building relationships between police and communities while holding officers accountable. Here's what Crusoe had to say today about why he wants to become the next mayor of Los Angeles. There's a dearness to this city and a greatness to this city. And that's really what motivates me about being mayor is when you can reduce crime and you solve the homeless problem, you know, you get the encampments off the street, you give back people's neighborhoods to feel safe. The energy and the power of the city is going to come out, and it's going to be amazing. And I'm really excited about the opportunity to lead that. And he really has been crisscrossing the city, trying to get the vote out. Several celebrities have voted for Crusoe over Bass, saying they believe Crusoe is the one who can lead L.A. out of the mess that it's in. Among them, Snoop Dogg, Gwyneth Paltrow, Kim Kardashian, Maria Shriver, Katy Perry, Chris Pratt, Paris Hilton, Jessica Alba, Mario Lopez, just to name a few, the list goes on and on. But the big question, will it be enough to make Caruso the next mayor? These two candidates, both Bass and Caruso, they're basically in a dead heat, so we're just going to have to watch and wait and see what type of results come in tonight. We'll be here throughout the course of the evening, and we'll keep you guys updated. For now, reporting live here at The Grove, Mary Beth McDade, we're going to send it on back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you. Governor